he's got to circle off. He doesn't want to just let his man back him up into the ropes there. Push kick, though. It looked like it did push him. A little bit low, but referee was unable to see it. But the combination to Ben Mosiah was really the story tonight, Mitch. Once he got into that boxing range, he was able to unload yeah. with the combinations. Ben Mosiah caught him with the push kick. Unfortunately, the ref didn't quite catch it as Temerlan Bekmerzaev gets the W. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes and 25 seconds in the second round, your referee has caught a stop to this contest. Your winner, by way of technical knockout, Temerlan Bekmerzaev! Temerlan Bekmerzaev picks up the second round TKO. Looked like a different fighter tonight. Accurate, powerful, just very active throughout all two rounds. Combinations were really sharp tonight from the Team Betty Zatut representative. Let's go up to Miss Chosen for the post fight. Temerlan, you really put a pace on your opponent, breaking him there in the second round. Was that the game plan just to keep a high pace and a high volume? Да, мы так и планировали в прошлый раз. Мы не смогли этого сделать. Но сейчас я был готов на 100%. В разделе кикбоксинг, в К1, с любым готов выйти. 60, 63, 65. Я готов. We did exactly what we wanted. It was much better than the last time we did it. And now I'm waiting for the next, for the next partner to fight. What was the difference in this fight? Was it a confidence thing? Was it an experience? What was the biggest difference in a performance like this? Больше всего то, что мы тренировались и были готовы. Спасибо, Мехди. Весь месяц, Рамадан, священный месяц, я не уехал домой. Тренировался и до, и после. В 11 часов ночи мы тренировались, проводили тренировки. Также Руслану большое спасибо всей моей команде. Буйнакск. Sham Fighter Club, Shamil Trainer, Mama Abdul Mishka, всем. Спасибо. It's the preparation. Thanks, big thanks to my team. It wouldn't be possible without them. It was the Ramadan month that added the discipline. Uh, I'm just feeling emotional now, and uh, thank you for my team. Great work, great fight, great preparation. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for your winner, Temerlan Bek Mirzaev. Temelan Bek Murzaev, Small Hulk. That's the man's nickname, and tonight he looks like that. Powerful combinations with the left hooks, was able to land that both in Orthodox and Southpaw. Inside low kick into the left hook, and the combinations really flowed tonight for Temelan Bek Murzaev. That was a finishing sequence referee. Calling that a TKO, but it was really. Again, the footwork, the accuracy, the combinations of Temelan Bekmerzaev that earns him that victory. Coming up next, we have 140 pounds Muay Thai action. Ali Khan Ergasha takes on Nupangna. That happens right after the break.
two-time MMA great. Demetrius Johnson! Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson, one of the legends in the sport. He is quite extraordinary. There's no one else like him. The eyes of the watching world are upon him. Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson has zero weaknesses. The way that he combines striking with grappling to his wrestling game is absolutely brilliant. Demetrius trying to choke it. Can he get it? That's good night, Irene! You guys look at all my fights. I get busy. I go out there. I push the pace. I always come out and fight. DJ never gives you a moment to breathe. He's just constantly on you. Oh, big right! Big knee! That's it! Demetrius Johnson! The super fight we've all been waiting for. A bad spot for Rod Tack. This is it! Is it gonna tap? Is the fight? It's out cold! What can you say about Demetrius Johnson that hasn't been said before? A lot of people in the world have called me or named me as the top one greatest fighter in the world. I don't let it get to my head. I don't even really think about it, to be honest with you. I just want to go out there and compete, put on great performances, and be able to take care of my family. Ladies and gentlemen, if you come to Thailand for a vacation, it isn't complete until you come to Lumpini Stadium, the mecca of martial arts, arguably the greatest national treasure of Thailand. And we continue to roll on here in catch weight, 140 pound Muay Thai. Ali Khan, Argeshav takes on Numpang Na. Five years the elder is Numpang Na, three inches the shorter as Kyrgyzstan faces Thailand. Global rules of Muay Thai, three three minute rounds. The 10 point must system will be used. Three knockdowns in a round, that's a technical knockout. No throws or grappling in Muay Thai. From the blue corner, Noom Pong Noom Pong Na. 25-year-old Muay Dern fighter, which means forward pressure, comes out of Eagle Muay Thai in Phuket. Johnny, this guy is one to watch. No fun now. Introduced to Muay Thai by his auntie at only eight years old. And ever since then, it has been his passion. He moved to Phuket, Thailand to pursue his career as a Muay Thai fighter and now trains at Eagle Muay Thai, which is owned by that very same auntie, which is pretty cool. Lumpang Na has to be the one to initiate first. He's got a beautiful, beautiful Muay Thai style. With this small gloves, it should suit his pace. He likes to go forward, but he needs to keep his defense very sharp and active tonight. Keep the pressure forward. He got an opponent that has a more technical style. So Numpang Na told us he wants to be the one pushing forward in this one. It's a massive opportunity for the young Numpang Na to make a statement here in the Mecca of Muay Thai. Numpang Na training out of Phuket, Thailand. Very excited to see what he can do. Originally from Panga, now makes his debut here. One Friday fight. From the red corner, Ali Khan Ergesho. Ali Khan Ergesho from Kyrgyzstan. He's an intellectual fighter, has a high fight IQ, likes to counter strike, really pull people into his shots. He's well rounded. He can do it kind of all. He's got all of his weapons available to him, Gianni. But what I like about him especially is just his intellect out there. He really puts together a game plan and you can kind of see it evolve as the match goes on. Ali Khan Ergashov, 14 years experience in Boy Thai for this camp. Finished it off at Tiger Boy Thai. 
high-level training partners and the coaches over there. Erga Shah, like you said, Mitch, very smart fighter. Likes to keep the distance. He wants to use his tips, his teeps, is that push kick and the kicks to the body to stay away from the punches of Dil Tong Na. He told us that it is the dream of all Na Kwai to now fight on one Friday fight. He also told us that this fight will be a door opener for himself and his countrymen in Kyrgyzstan. He believes it will help the other athletes from his country get exposure and get an opportunity to fight on shows of this caliber. Noor Ali Khan Ergashaw makes his one Friday fight. Okay. Now, this match is three three-minute rounds of a 140-pound catchweight Muay Thai contest. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, training out of Eagle Muay Thai, holding a Muay Thai and kickboxing record of 39 and 15. Representing Thailand, Noom Pangha! And introducing his opponent, out of the red corner, training out of Tiger Muay Thai, holding a Muay Thai and kickboxing record of 14 and 4. Representing Kyrgyzstan, Ali Khan Egashaw. Oh, that's a big one, man. You see, you you find two rounds, man. Not far, man. Not near, man. Okay, man. No, a low one, man. Okay, man. Team three, man. Three rounds, man. Judge. Judge. Referee Judge. Bomb Pop. getting this 140-pound catchweight Muay Thai oh. contest underway. Numpung Nang in the black, and Ali Khan Ergashov in the black and orange. Black and white, maybe. Oh. Good. Two, three combination to the low kick from Ergashan. Very patient. Look at that kick out. Beautiful work. Catches it. Turns it. Sweeps out that base leg. That's that IQ, that intellectual game that's coming from Ergashov early on. Smooth little counter striking on display. Good footwork. Evasion, blocking, and encountering from Ali Khan Ergashov. Nupak now has to be careful. He cannot fight this pace that Ergoshov likes. Ergoshov can do this all night, counter you, move backwards, and pick out the shots. Ergoshov told us, very happy to pick up a decision victory as long as I can show beautiful Muay Thai. Yeah, Numpung now needs to apply that pressure, close that distance, make this thing a little bit dirty. Nice push kick landed by Ergoshov. Yeah, he operates off that push kick, which likes to use that push kick to set him. You sit on the walk that Ergoshov wants to open the door oh. for Kyrgyzstani athletes and really try to, you know, let them get known, which is a very, you know, selfless sort of, uh, you know, ideology to come in here with. And it's really fun. And one Friday fights is the pinnacle of martial arts, and we really are the gateway to the big show in the championships. I'm really impressed right now with Ergoshov. I'm going to show you. come forward and throw bombs, but the boxing defense of Ergashov, very shot tonight. Even when Lumpanga threw that overhead right, he turned the head at the last second. Very slick defense from Ali Khan Ergashov. Lumpanga's biting a lot of these push kicks. As they trade low kicks, and Lumpanga's starting to Close that distance. He's inside that corner so he can't utilize that movement that he's showcased earlier in the first half of this round. But that will come down tight with that big leg. Trying to slow down Ali Khan Ergoshov. Mix it up, then throw that right hand that he's looking to land, but damn, the teams make it that hard to do. Bomb 
separates them as we hear the bell to end the first round. Johnny, what you like about that first round? I like the accuracy, I like the composure, I like the counter fighting of Ergashov. He's able to stay on the outside, work off a nice, beautiful jab, and that push kick as well. And then count it beautifully. Here's another look at that kick counter, catches it, off balances it, sweeps out that front leg. Beautiful work, another look again. The second attempt, head kick that lands, but Nupang now just eats that one like his oatmeal. And that's the defense that we talked about from Ergershaw. To move the head at the last second, Nupang now needs to up the aggression in the second round. Ergershaw there with a boxing combination. But he eats a right hand like you talked about. He cannot get too overzealous. Yeah, Nupang now has got that power that can put you out, and if he times it right, especially the way that Ergashov's kind of pushing forward with his head, opening up with shots. If Numpanlan can time that right hand, he can put Ergashov out, but Ergashov is ducking under that beautifully with his own right hand. The the but Numpanlan holding on the pressure of this round. He's got that right hand again, he times it well. I think he's got Ergashov a little bit hurt with that second one that he landed. Again, touches him on the chin. Body kick is landed for him in this round. Ergashov is able to counter it in the first round, but now Nupang Na able to pull out that leg and do damage. So he can do damage. Looks like Nupang Na has got a little bit going on in his face, but he walks right through it. That Muay Dern style, that forward pressure style. Stronger inside the clinch is Nupang Na as Ergashov crashes to the ground. Nupang Na doesn't want to give him any space, comes right forward, eats another elbow. Landing some beautiful elbows. There's no fun that was walking in, but it is. The aggression of no fun that in this round is really standing out, Mitch. Yeah, but that slight counter strike in her version shot that's got way in the judge's eyes. I know they like the, the pressure, the forward aggression that comes from Numpang Nam. Numpang Nam is getting tough. Chin of Nurbuck now, absolutely yeah. incredible. It's like a stone wall keeps walking forward. Oh. I don't know, man. That's like the least thing you want to be known for. It's just having an iron chin at the top. You got to be able to do something with it. If you're going to eat shots like that and walk through you have to land big shots. You can't hit with two. Just to land one that impacts even more. Other shots celebrating a little too early. Look at 
face, immediately walks him down. Puts him feet right in his face. Undershot trying to slow down this zombie-like style that's coming from Moon Pum Nam. One thing we got to take into account as well, when you talk about significant strikes, how do you score? The fighter just walks forward. It's still a significant strike, but Moon Pum Nam has that poker face, stone cold, eating all the shots and then putting it on. Ergashaw, Ergashaw's the one that looks like He's taking more damage, doesn't he? At this point, at this third round, yes, all the other shot screams with the back hit. Rupam not trying to break the will of Ubershot. Ubershot hit him with everything he had in that second round. And Rupam not walking down through it, absorbing the shots like he was sucking the energy from the shot. After one minute and 23 seconds in the third round, your referee has caught a stop to this contest. Your winner, by way of technical knockout, Noom Panga! The crowd inside this iconic Noom Pini Boxing Stadium going wild. Noom Panga. Let's go up to Vince Chilson for the post-fight interview. Moon Pini Stadium, that was fun. You better make some noise for Noon Pagna. I can see you are very emotional. That was a very tough fight. I can see the gash on the top of your head. What's going through your mind right now? ก็ตอนนี้ดูพี่จะมีความรู้สึกที่ซาบซึ้งมากๆเลยนะครับผมและเหมือนมีอาการบาดเจ็บที่หัวด้วยตอนนี้รู้สึกเป็นยังไงบ้างครับคิดอะไรอยู่ครับดีใจมากครับบอกไม่ถูกครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณคุณชาตีครับที่ให้โอกาสผมมาต่อยขอบคุณพี่หนุ่มน้อยครับที่เสนอผมมาต่อยที่เปิดโอกาสให้ผมขอบคุณครับ I feel so glad. I want to thank Kunshati for giving me the opportunity. I want to thank my team for bringing me here. Now, it looked like you were having a hard time with the combinations that he was throwing at you in those first two rounds, but you just ate it, kept walking forward, and eventually put it on him. Was that the game plan to break him in the third round? ก็ในยกแรกนะครับเขามีการใช้หมัดที่ดีมากๆแต่พี่ก็ยังไม่ถอยพี่ก็ยังสามารถทนสู้ต่อไปได้อันนี้เป็นแผนที่วางมาหรือเปล่าครับที่จะเอาให้เขาเหนื่อยจนหยุดไปต่อไม่ได้ผมวางแผนจะเดินบี้ตลอดอยู่แล้วครับคือผมก็ยกแรกผมตั้งใจไว้แล้วผมจะตั้งกาดไว้แล้วผมพยายามเดินเข้าไปเดินออกอาวุธศาสตร์แข่งไว้ครับ Yes, that is my plan. I plan to chase him. I have. I want to do a very good on my defense game and try to break him. 
and break him you did. I can see just how emotional you are right now, but I got something else that's gonna make you a little bit more emotional. How about 350,000 baht from Chachri Senior Tom? Good day, love, good morning, South Sen. How are we Thank you very much. I'm so happy. Thank you. Lupe Stadium, make some noise for your winner, Noom Pong Nan. Noom Pong Nan. The emotion behind him. Such a big victory. Come from behind to earn himself a third round TKO. Let's take a look at the replay one more time. Had to battle a very tricky, very intelligent Urga Shah. But he kept the pressure on. In the third round, the damage sustained on the leg of Urga Shah was too much. No fuck now. Look at the damage. Walks him down, boots him in the leg, drops him. That's the first one. And the second one, that's the one that did the damage and put him away. No fuck now earns the third round TKO and a 350,000 baht bonus. Coming up next, Wu Xiao Long takes on Ali Sarang. Can't wait for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go anywhere. We're just getting started. Welcome back to Lumpini Stadium, the pinnacle and most prestigious fighting stadium in Asia. Not just Thailand, ladies and gentlemen, but we've got a fun one coming up next. Strawweight kickboxing. Cool. Shout out. Takes on Ali Serik. Ali is nine years the younger, but one inch the taller as China faces Kazakhstan. Global Rules Kickboxing. Three three-minute rounds. The 10-point must system will be used. Three knockdowns in a round, that's a TKO. No elbows, throws, or grappling in kickboxing. From the blue corner, Ali Serik! Ali Serik. 
18 years old, this undefeated fighter is ready to make his mark. Gianni, I'm pumped because we got some good seats for this fight. I'm really excited about this, but you guys at home, you can enjoy the best seats in the house this Saturday night at 10 p.m. Eastern with the, with the VR replay of one Friday Fight 16 airs on Meta Horizon World. Do not miss that one. You can have better seats than us, but this one is going to be fun, Gianni. Ali Serik, a boy Thai World Championship gold medalist. Making his debut tonight, 8 and 0, only 18 years old. He is one to watch and fight. And in both Orthodox and Southpaw stands, he's got a beautiful low kick. He's aggressive and he's technical inside the clinch as well. The one big factor, though, that I'm worried about for the young Ali Zerik is the power difference. Or Xiao Long, like we saw in his last outing, was very strong, very dominant when he got in there. How will the 18-year-old deal with that strength we get to see tonight? From the red corner, Wu Xiao Long! Wu Xiao Long returns Friday fight. This southpaw kickboxer Gianni has got big power, which you alluded to. And that was a big fear for you in this matchup on the debutante Ali. Let's see what kind of war Xiao Long presents itself here tonight. War Xiao Long training at the LK gym, LK gym in Pattaya. Very happy to find himself another opportunity at a shot to possibly punch his way into the Big Show 1 Championship. Bo Xiao Long had a very exciting showing, showing some beautiful combinations. He had a flying knee in the first round that dropped his opponent. And really just an all-around aggressive style. This is a great opponent for War. They will have similar high output fighting styles, but power in the hands of the dynamic kicks will go to War. War told us mindset and intelligence will be the key differences in this matchup. Being the sole Chinese representative on this card makes Xiao Long extremely proud. He will be very motivated to show why Chinese athletes are some of the very best in the world. I'm excited for this matchup, bitch. Let's look at this one. Coming up, we have three three-minute rounds of strawweight kickboxing. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, training out of Titan Fight Club, holding a Muay Thai and kickboxing record of 8 and 0. Representing Kazakhstan, Ali Sari. And introducing his opponent, out of the red corner, training out of Su Chang Chun Yang Boji Club holding a Muay Thai and kickboxing record of 31 and 7. Representing China, Wu Xiao Long. Good morning. Mm, you said, you did it, thank you. Okay, I want you to listen to my command at all times, protect yourself at all times, let's have a good, clean fight. You want to touch gloves, touch gloves. Back to your corners, thank you. Back, 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 back. 